this was the situation. We were playing away, playing our hearts out, doing what we wanted to do, trying, getting lots of uh, hysterical aggression back from the audiences. A lot of people saying we were terrible and disgusting and, and people throwing things at us and attacking us on stage and walking out and all this. And we really felt very much alone. <clears throat> so we had been doing, playing around. We were finally building up a following of people that liked what we did over a period of few years. Then we started playing in London. And suddenly there were these other groups appearing on the scene, more or less doing what we were doing. And, uh, but they were, they were sort of making a fashion, you know? And um, well, we didn't mind that because, you know, like uh, uh, to, to uh, imitate someone is a great form of flattery. So, so we didn't mind that so much. But, but then we started picking up the newspapers and they, they were slagging us off, you know, and like, and like um, insulting us, you know, which, which isn't re re we didn't think was really on. Right. Um, so we thought, well, God, my God. Then we pick up another newspaper and it says that we are one of the punk bands with the Clash and the Damned and, all the, and the Stranglers, you know, right. mentioned in the same breath. And we thought, well, this can't be right. But these bands don't want to know us, you know. So that, that made us even more angry because, frustrated, because here's the press saying we are a punk band. There's the punk band saying we're not. And we don't care what the fuck they call us, you know. Right. Yeah. Really, we just want to do what we're doing. We're we're being given the opportunity to play more, so it's, we're happy at that way it's developing, and we don't really care about what they call us.